<laughs> so so. Whoa, not cool. He'll never make any friends that way. A few days ago, in a neighborhood not too far away, Cora dreamt of something bigger than the world she knew. Suddenly, a mysterious caller promised the adventure of a lifetime. And in an instant, Cora was swept away to Black Spire Outpost on Batu. Cora was in shock. I mean, there were aliens and droids and blue milk. Why was it blue? Also, she had new clothes. You know what? I'm gonna change this real quick. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. It says I'm cool, but not trying too hard. Anyway, Cora set out to explore more of Batu. While devouring a plate of delicious Ronto wraps, an especially nosy Abednedo named Loose Tongue shared some unsolicited advice. If it's intel you're after, head to Ogre's Cantina. Talk to DJ Rex, he whispered. Cora entered the vile den of crime and deviance, only to find what looked like a pretty good time. And at the center of all the fun, DJ Rex. The droid was eager to talk. Apparently, three groups had recently set up occupation on Batu. The Resistance was gathering forces outside the city, the nefarious First Order had taken over an area downtown, and the scoundrels had been trying to get rich off both every chance they got. Each group would pay a handsome reward to anyone looking to help their cause, and Cora could use the credits. She just had to choose her path. It was an exciting time for Korra. She completed many missions, collected rare items, recruited new members, became a spy, even flew starships. Most of the time, she could handle a mission on her own, solo style, but occasionally she could use a little help. Luckily, Korra brought her dro- Oh, right, her droid. <laughs> Where is my mind? Uh, let's go back. Before going on her next mission, Korra headed to the droid depot. There were many options, but she loved this little BB unit. So she paid the credits and named her BBQD. Cutie, for short. Oh, what a little cutie. Cutie proved very useful while on missions, causing distractions, taking out obstacles, slicing panels, but really just being a great friend. Look at her. You're the best, cutie. <clears throat> anyway, back to the mission. Oh, wait. Lightsabers. What did I forget about? Ugh. Okay, so the very first thing Cora did was get her own lightsaber. So cool. Look at that thing. Okay, we've gotten way off course. Um, missions. Okay, so after many successful missions, people started to take notice of Cora's effect on Batu. And as her reputation grew, she made friends with some truly inspiring people. Cora made a pretty good living on those missions. Rewarded with promotions, antiquities from another era, all the galactic credits a person could want. She thought she'd never leave. But then she remembered where she was from, who she was. It was time to go home. Plus, this guy had a temper. Cora returned to Batu several times and had many adventures. She made her dreams come true. But the one thing she never could have drunk of was Little Cutie. Begin your Sims Star Wars story in the Sims 4 Journey to Batuu Game Pack.